Hello my lovelies! So today we are going to do another style in our fantasy series. Um, this is a dark elf hairstyle. It is inspired by uh, the second Thor movie, The Dark World. Um, the main bad guy has this hair, um, or a version of this hair. Uh, I mocked it up on my husband, <laughs> as you probably saw in the bumper there, uh, but if you would like a better look, uh, here it is. Okay, so um, as you can see, it can be done on BSL length hair. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to figure out the bottom portion of that braid, so I made him sit still so I could finagle and make sure what I was doing. Um, this is not a difficult hairstyle if you can braid. Uh, it consists of two Dutch braids and two kind of lace ropes, uh, but we're actually going to do the lace up backwards than we usually do. Um, and then we're going to combine them into kind of a fishtail or herringbone braid. Um, you guys know I don't do fishtails. In the actual movie, the bottom part of that braid was strictly two fishtails um, put together, but um, my hair does not like fishtails, so I kind of found a workaround for that. So let's get started. All right, um, you want to separate your hair into half and then half again. Um, let me just run. Oh, for this hairstyle, all you actually need are four clear hair ties. Yay! Um, so that's always good. <laughs> you don't have to use clear, of course. But um, yeah, so I decided to do one of the, the dude hairstyles uh, because I do mostly lady styles, but um, the nice thing about men's hairstyles is that they go for either sex much better than the uh, strictly girly hairstyles. Um, I'm going to part in the middle. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the straight up hairstyle, the super masculine version because I do have some long haired men folk out there. And um, then we're going to, that did not part very well at all. Um, yeah, that's a terrible part. What is up? Uh, um, and then I'm going to dress it up super girly because I can. Alrighty. So, um, since it is inspired by and not the exact hairstyle, um, this is in the fantasy section, as I already said. So, yay! Okay, so I'm going to clip this off from the rest of the hair, and of course I have no regular hair ties in here because, oh, why would I do anything that makes any sense? There we go. Alright, yeah, I'm going to separate out half just so I don't have to deal with this, um, trying to get all up in the business of this side. Alrighty, so, we're going to start with the right side since that's facing you, and I'm going to separate out Um, let's see, I'm going to follow my hairline actually, you see it kind of goes up and, and down, so right here I'm going to take this and go straight back to here and pull this much out. This here we are going to Dutch braid and this is going to be our rope, so let me tie this off as well because we're going to do the Dutch. Alright, so we are sectioned and this portion we're going to Dutch braid. That's it. We're just we're just going to Dutch braid it. No fancy schmancy, nothing else. Just a straight up Dutch braid. If you would prefer to French braid, by all means, go ahead. But um, I am trying to at least stick somewhat close to the movie in some respects, so it is definitely a Dutch braid in the movie. So that's what we're going to go with. So separate into three sections. I know my bangs are being interesting, but don't worry, I'm just going to tuck and pin them in once we're done. So yeah, not lace or anything like that. I mean, we're doing actual Dutch braid. 
So I'm going to Dutch braid this portion and then I will be back with you to show you the next step. Alrighty dolls, back in a sec. Alrighty guys, we are back. Um, we should have a Dutch braid with a quarter of our hair um, as such. Um, it's not my most beautiful Dutch braid ever, but whatever. Okay, <laughs> next step, still on the same side this other portion of your hair. This is where we're going to do our rope braid. Now this one is a little tricksy. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping I can recreate. I had to try it a few different ways on my husband to kind of make it lay right. So um, I'm hoping that I remember what I did this morning. <laughs> so um, we're going to take this. Oh, no lumpies, no lumpies. Comb it back. Um, I'm just going to throw my braid over on this side. Um, and what we are doing is rope and it's going to be sort of, it's a lace, but it's a little different. Um, I will just show you. So we start by separating this into two sections and we are going to, um, twist them down like so. Ding, 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 down. And the other one down and then we are going to wrap them around each other twice we want to get it started so go twice around like so and now we are going to add and we are only going to add to the top up here so um grab yourself a section like about that much add it to the top portion Pull the bottom out. You want to go ahead and twist it all down to incorporate it. And then twist up and around. And we are going to add again only to the top section. Um, like so. All right. Twist down to incorporate. Ding, 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 ding and then up and around. When you are twisting up and around, also continue to twist down. Um, I always call that torque. You have, you have to really keep it torqued well uh, to keep your twist going the way it's supposed to. All right, so I'm going to continue this, adding to the top section, and then braiding it in like so. Okay, and then um, I'm going to row braid it all the way down, and then I will be back um, to show you what it looks like. So, back in a sec. So, um, I know I said I'd be back when it was done, but I figured I should give you a tip. Um, after all of your hair is incorporated in, when you are about to pull it over your shoulder, do not pull it over your same shoulder. Pull it over the op opposite shoulder because that will keep this tight the way we want it. If we pull it over here to continue our braid, it's going to gap and be loose. And that's not the look we're going for. So, um, yeah, pull it over your opposite shoulder to continue your rope braid. Cool. Okay, now really. Alrighty, right. lovelies, this is what we should have. We are the third of the way done. <laughs> we should have half of our hair braided and the other half ready to do the exact same thing. We should have Dutch braid and then a French lace done sort of backwards. Um, so this is what it should look like, and I know it looks like these are going to meet, which is what we want because we're actually going to cross these over. So um, this is what we should have so far. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and then I will be back with you to show you the coup de grace. All right, all right, um, my lovelies, we're back. Um, as usual, my braids aren't exactly perfect. I really wish this one was further into my part like this one turned out, but oh well, just like this is nice and tight and this is a little loose. So usually always my left side is better than my right, but these are good and these are good, or these are good and these are not so hot. Anywho, so anyways, um, if you would like to replicate the style more closely to the original, what you would now do is gather all of these into a ponytail, tie it off, and then split them so that you make a fishtail braid with this. 
and a fishtail braid with this. And then you hold them together. You either pin them together or sew them together with fishing line or something clear or thread so that it would match your hair and you wouldn't see it. Um, I am not doing that. <laughs> that is why this is inspired by. So this, think of it a little bit like a fishtail braid. Um, we are going to take these two outer rope braids and I'm just gonna twist this one up a little tighter. Um, and this one too, might as well. Which way are we twisting? This way, okay. So these two, we are going to cross over and then underneath their perspective or respective um, Dutch braids, like so. And we're gonna continue to do this all the way down. Cross over and then underneath. What we are basically doing are stitching these um, Dutch braids together. Um, and it is a little reminiscent of a fishtail in that you know you take from the bottom and then come over the top. So that is what we are doing all the way down. Um, and I am going to pull this over my shoulder right now because my arms only go so far. Alrighty, where are we? All right, I'm going to give a little tug and I'm going to try and make sure that they lay flat because that is what I am truly going for is flatness. But um, can you see me? We're just kind of stitching the other two together. Now, if you have shorter hair and your rope braids run out, but you still have a lot of tail left, which is what happened with my husband. He had considerable amount of tail because his hair is very fine and I just couldn't get him to rope anymore. Um, I just used the tails and continued to do it till I ran out of hair. Um, so, you know, there's that. So, but as you see, since we are doing more with the little ones on the side, we are going to run out, which is fine because now I'm going to take all of this, yank all the ends off and just put one elastic. And combine them all this is what we're doing um yeah so this is not quite exactly like the movie but I think it ends up looking really nifty um it is going to give you considerable tail but you know that happens when you get into your really fancy schmancy braids sometimes you end up with considerable tail <laughs> and I know my friend Amanda is laughing right now that's okay so I'm going to tie these off up here. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Can I get one more out of this elastic? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if it snaps. These clear elastics that I bought are considerably larger than my last batch. Um, so that's interesting. It's made it very interesting for me. Um, so you do have quite a bit of tail. If you would like to braid that in another braid, feel free. I'm gonna have a look-see how this looks. Um, that is pretty darned groovy, y'all. <laughs> oh, you probably wanna see it, don't you? So there you have it. It is, I guess, technically four strands, though if you think of it, if all the strands we used, five on this side and five on this, that's actually 10. So that's kind of groovy in and of itself. So there is that dark elf hairstyle. Uh -huh. um, and I'm going to take a picture of it as is. And then I will be back to show you what we're going to do to dress it up and make it girly. Okay. Um, All right. Back in so uh, let's make this very girly. Um, Siobhan sent me some beautiful things for Christmas that she made. Um, and she is including this necklace, look how pretty that is, Oh, mm -hmm. and uh, clearly she wants me to be a little classier and a little less tacky because she sent me class, so, and I just want an excuse to use them, so we're going to dress up this hair first, let me put on a pair of the earrings that she made for me, you guys know she's been making jewelry, right, you watch her DIY stuff, yeah, um, she makes it look so easy, mm-hmm. 
but uh, she needs to open a shop soon because her stuff is beautiful. So after I get my earrings in to make it more beautimous, um, she made me all these beautiful flower clips. So we're going to use those. I have, oh, that one's sparkly. I'm not going to use this one today. This is the only one that she made that is remotely tacky for me. Look at all that sparkle. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. Um, but that one's not going in today. I'm going to use her classy ones. So I have two of these beautiful orange. See the pearls in the center? And I have two of these very pretty pink. Pink. And she made me a ginormous rose, which is the June flower, and I am a June baby. So uh, this one is actually going in first because it's going straight in the center. So we find the center, which is right there. Dun, dun, dun. It is so big, she had to put two clips on it. So that'll take a little finagling. I think I got it. Are we centered? Yep. Okay. So uh, next to those, I'm going to do these beautiful orange ones. Uh, right here. On either side. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. Like so. And then I'm going to do should we put? Maybe we should put them going down the braid. Won't that be pretty? Yes, I believe so. So, let's do that. Give us a little bit of a Rapunzel feel, you know, Rapunzel and her flowers. Like so. Let's look. Let's look. How does that look? Oh, that looks pretty darn Spiffy. See guys? Now it is super girly and appropriate for another occasion. So you can either leave it unadorned and just look pretty badass, wear it with jeans, what have you, or you can adorn it with beautiful flowers or sparkles or whatever you have and make it super fancy for weddings. Maybe you're just going to be a guest. Maybe it'll be your wedding. Maybe your bridesmaid. Whatever. It still looks super pretty. Um, any kudos. So there it is. Fabulous decorations. But that is our dark elf hair. Um, and as you can see, it can be gussied up um, to look super fancy if you want. Because you guys know how I feel about super fancy things. So that is our hairstyle for today. I hope you enjoyed that. It is not very difficult. It's just going to take you a little bit of time because, you know, braids. Braids always take a little bit of time. Um, yes, and by all means, if you are around BSL, please give it a go because as you can see from my husband's hair, it is doable. Um, he also has exceedingly fine, silky hair, and I was able to do it. So all of my girls out there with fine hair that lament the fact that they can't do my hairstyles, this one you can because I did it on fine hair. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, um, until next time, everybody have a great day. Alrighty guys, love you. Bye.